everyone, Brody here with our new channel, Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. I have a new copy of Vinyl Jukebox. It is a fast playing two player only bag building set collection game. The goal of the game is to create the best playlist by organizing your 45s in different ways to score points, but also racing to earn public scoring conditions as well as private goals to get the most points. On your turn, you will be taking actions, one of which is the insert coin action, where you draw out coins from your bag and place them into the leftmost space on either row on your board. As you keep drawing coins, if the coin has any matching types of another one, then it can stack on top of that coin and put it right on top of there. As you keep drawing out coins, if you place a coin on a space with a red diamond, then your opponent will be able to immediately draw and place one coin from their bag. And at any time as you draw out coins, you can place a coin in the next play spot where it is considered reserved for your next turn. Maybe you're needing that, but you don't want it right now. And it will be placed back into your bag and get drawn out in the future. You will continue to draw coins until either both rows become full or you choose to stop. As you play, you will gain bonus coins, which have both a genre and a decade. When using these, you can use either or both of the types shown. Now, you will need to form a row of coins with matching types of the available 45s to place in your own jukebox. So the row you place the coin in does actually matter. When you have filled up one or two rows with coins and you are done drawing coins, you can choose if you want to exhaust a row, place in all those coins in your coin box, and for each row you do this with, you can add a bonus coin from the common area into your bag. But since you are trying to collect 45s, you can also, when the rows are full, you can also choose to spend the coins to gain a 45 from the record bin, showing matching types on the coins to the ones listed on that 45. This will be one genre, one decade, and either an A or B side. Those spent coins will then be moved to your coin box. If any bonus coins were used, then it is returned back to the common area. If coins are used that have been stacked, then the bottom coin is left. Then all coins will be shift to the left. When gaining a 45, it will then immediately be placed in your own jukebox. This will be a 3x3 three three grid, and you can add 45s anywhere in that grid, but after it's placed, you cannot move it individually anymore. But you can still move all 45s placed thus far as kind of keeping them as a unit relative to their positions and keeping them the same and moving them like this. The other option on your turn, instead of drawing coins from the bag, is you can instead empty your coin box and place those coins back into your bag to use again. Then you can choose up to two bonus coins from the common area to add into your bag as well. Your opponent can return one of their coins in their coin box into the bag at this time. At the end of your turn, if there are any vacant spots in the record bin, then those are, you know, filled in with random 45s from the draw pile, and your opponent will then perform their turn. If any player has nine 45s in their jukebox, the game ends at the end of the round. As the game continues and players continue to add 45s, they will form rows and columns of three. When that happens, those are scored by taking one of the scoring tokens that you have met with your placement of those 45s. So you really aren't just randomly placing out your 45s either. You are strategically trying to get them in you know, specific areas to score more points from the scoring tokens. In addition, players are dealt out three scoring cards and they keep two and discard the third. And at the end of the game, they can score one of those cards according to the placement of their 45s. So you're trying to score in many different ways. Each scoring token shows the type it is. This might be a genre, the decade, or you know A or B side, the number of that type shown in that row or column, and then the points it awards you for completing it. And when doing this, you can only gain one scoring token for each row or column, even if that row or column can fulfill more than one of those goals. The game ends at the end of the game when a player has fulfilled their jukebox with 945s. The player with the empty spaces may attempt to score rows and columns with less than 345s if a scoring token matches any of them. Otherwise, for each row or column that doesn't score a scoring token, it will score one point for each 45. 
Each player chooses one of their scoring cards to score. These cards can score points in two ways. First, based on the matching genre in the relative positions shown. With one match, you can gain two points. Two matches, you can gain four points. And all three matches will give you nine points. The bottom rewards players based on matching decades, sides, or both across their entire jukebox. For each 45 that matches either the decade or the side earns you a point each. And if a 45 matches both of that decade and that side, then you gain three points. After adding up points from everything, the player with the most points wins the game. And, well, that's Vinyl Jukebox. It's a fast-playing set collection game of collecting just the right 45s to play in your own jukebox. There are some randomness with what you pull from your bag, so players need to, you know, adapt to whatever comes out. But there's also two rows to place coins in, and this is, you know, a good option to empty a row to gain a, a bonus coin as well. There's, there's things to do. Players will need to pay attention to what coins they need to get certain 45s and then make sure that they place those 45s in the best place to score additional points for scoring. There is this aspect of managing your bag and trying to figure out the odds of pulling out a certain coin. So you will want to, you know, plan for a certain 45 that can you can actually get by pulling the right coins out. The game really comes down to who can manage all of those aspects of the game to get the best 45s in their jukebox and they will score them with the best combination by fulfilling the scoring tokens. So Vinyl Jukebox, it's fast, it's for two players, it has a unique theme, I love that. I'm not used to that, you know, theme coming up in tabletop games too much. Again, this is Brody with Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We are new and working hard to bring to you videos like this one, so you know if these games are the ones that you want to get to your own table.